as you can see, I'm standing almost straight up. I mean, straight up, but you know, without lifting arms, you know, <laughs> it's my laundry room right there. But I'm straight up and I think I might venture out to the backyard. I don't know. That's what I'm gonna do. So, yeah. I mean, or on my back deck patio. I've been feeling some type of way. Maybe this is what I needed. I need to come out here. Hey, this is one week post-op. Um, from my tummy tuck surgery. As you can see, see how I'm sitting? Still have drains in, but because the um, the doctor or the nurse is not in the office today, so they left it, she emailed, the my nurse is not at the office today. She's at the Charlottesville office, so, I mean, they probably could have called me to go over there, but you know, it's not a big deal. Um, nothing barely is coming out of either one of the drains, but I have them taped up, but I was able to go out on a ride today. I went to Panera Bread. Now I know why I feel so full because the foods that I'm eating are just too solid, I guess, or thick, solid, I don't know. So I decided to go with the soup and that like hit the spot chicken noodle soup and i am all right with that it's like i i'm all right with that i can i can do a chicken noodle soup um i was feeling a little lightheaded and i think because i haven't been able to eat eat because i take a couple bites of something because i was like okay i want to eat, eat something that'll fill me up i didn't think soup would be something but that soup was amaze balls. So I feel okay now. I feel better today. So hopefully she's gonna go, she probably will give me a call tomorrow and I'll come in, go in tomorrow and have my tubes, drains removed and go from there. So a little update on um, my tummy tuck procedure. It is. It has been a week post-op, and I feel fabulous today. <laughs> now, had you asked me this um, yesterday and three days before that, I'd have told you, hell no. I'd say, to hell with this shit. But I feel better. Um, I figured out what I needed to do, and that was to um, to eat. <laughs> better I don't want to say eat better but eat a little lighter I guess I was so hungry that I wanted to eat and when I ate I was full within like two bites and I was like I can't and I was getting lightheaded but I'm good I'm okay I'm like okay now it's time to get these drains taken out hopefully tomorrow and I'll be set <laughs> a bitch about to look snatched hey thought I'd get on here and uh, share some info, I guess, or how I've been doing. It's been how many days now? Today's Thursday? Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, seven, Thursday, like 10 days out, right? About 10 days, almost two weeks. And I am sitting. I switched over to my waist trainer because my um, binder that I was wearing, it I couldn't get it tight enough on my own. So whenever I had to take it off, if I took it off when I was by myself, it was very hard to get back on tighter. So I was like, heck with that, let me try this waist trainer. My waist trainer is tight. Like I said, I put on my waist trainer um, it was way tighter and that's what they wanted. They wanted more tightness to keep 
the swelling down. And they also told me to wear compression shorts or pants. Um, I'm wearing shorts underneath these, um, my, what are these, Under Armour workout pants. I think these are supposed to be compression pants, but because I had lost weight before, um, before my initial uh, surgery, while I was working out, I lost weight. So these pants don't fit like they used to. So when I first bought these, these are mediums, first bought these and they were pretty tight. They are no longer tight anymore. So um, I just wear, wear them on top of my compression shorts and I do wear underwear. So, but um, let's see, the drains, the drains came out Monday, Tuesday. So um, since the drains came out, only one, I wear a Band-Aid or um, a Band-Aid on the one side, which was the right side, was not, um, it seemed like once I got the, the, the drain actually wasn't much coming out. And there was still some stuff draining out of the drain before I got it taken out on the left side. So when she pulled out, she said that it's, it's probably going to be some drainage. It's okay. Well, it is. And <clears throat> it seems like the tighter the... Um, like when I'm sitting, the tighter that it feels is almost like it's pushing more out. So it's still like two open holes. So I just keep them covered. Um, I, I have not been doing a good job. They've been leaking and getting on my compression shorts, which I've had to clean. And it's not bad to clean them, but you know. But <clears throat> I'll probably post another picture here in a bit um, of pretty much it's today but I'm standing pretty much straight um I don't know um it I'm a little bit sore but I'm not sure why uh, I don't know if it's because you know uh, I moved from the couch to the bed but even though I moved to my bed I still have myself propped up in a v like feet legs up head up and the middle is down but um yeah a little sore no but i don't okay thank you so i didn't know um i don't know why i'm sore but i've been trying not to do too much i think that i am doing a little too much i mean a little extra i mean i can walk up and down steps but i need to be careful so that is pretty much it um i'm still not driving <clears throat> I'm not saying that I, I'm not saying I'm in a rush to drive because I'm really not. Um, because still getting in and out of a car still a little, it still hurts a little bit. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm not numb or anything. But I, I, I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I want to be ready. I want to go back to the gym. I think <laughs> mostly because I, I want to be around some people. But yes, I want to be around my gym friends. And uh, that's it. So I might post an update maybe later on next week. I don't know. See how things go. Bye. Uh, post op. And um, as you can see, I am just still wearing a waist trainer. Uh, I will probably insert some pictures of, you know, pictures that I took to show, you know, progress but I feel a hundred times better. As you can see, I'm sitting in my car because it's too hot right now, but I am at the racetrack with my husband. He races a car, but um, for the time being, he's wait, wasting, racing um, a motorcycle <clears throat> until his car is finished and it should be finished within a week or two. So we'll be racing that, but I'll probably insert some videos of that in here too. But I am walking um, a lot, standing a lot, getting some exercise. I don't know if I'm overdoing it or not. I'm hoping I'm not. I mean, I am, I do feel a little sore after, like, uh, when I stop walking and I, and I actually sit down, I feel a little bit sore. But other than that, I'm like, I think I'm going to feel sore because I haven't walked and it's using those core muscles that were tightened. And um, I will probably insert I'll probably, like I said, insert some pictures of some uh, 
updated pictures of what it looks like now. Um, I can take off my waist trainer or I take it off just enough to like change clothes or to, I usually take it off to use the bathroom because I find it very, it doesn't feel that great when I, when I have to pull the waist trainer up because it, it presses down on the, the, my stomach. So I take that off to go to the bathroom. I, I mean, I don't take it off for a really long time, but enough time to, you know, use the bathroom, take a shower or whatnot. I thought I'd hop on here and say something.